Hi, this is Chris Heiser from Internet2 and University of Pennsylvania, and this is Grouper Training for End Users, the Light UI for External Users. We'll introduce this topic. We'll talk about inviting external users and how external users accept those invitations. So this part of Grouper <coughs> is in the user interfaces, um, which is a uh, it's a component that the central grouper administrator for your institution is going to run, which uses the grouper um, API to talk to the grouper registry. So institutions manage their users. Institutions can also manage guest users with no other affiliation to the institution. However, this is tedious for institutions, and it's also tedious uh, or inconvenient for users to have many accounts everywhere, and they might forget their password or um, uh, need to update their data, etc. So federated and standard authentication systems um, allow for external authentication to um, applications in your institution uh, as long as you have a way to manage that. So external user identifiers like John Smith at google.com or John Smith at whatever your institution is.edu need to be stored somewhere so that Grouper can access them. And Grouper can do this for you if your uh, identity management system does not do this. So the institution central Grouper administrator needs to configure this either for all groups or for certain groups to have certain folders to have uh, external users. So to invite external users, group admins, which are either have the admin privilege or the read update privilege on a group, can invite external users. And they can do this from the admin UI or from the light UI. You can invite multiple users at once. And you can also add um, that user, multiple users, to multiple groups at once, which happens after they accept the invitation and register. You can invite um, external people by their email address or by their user ID if you know it. Generally you should use email address because the user ID that um, you might think is theirs uh, might not be correct. Um, so by email it'll definitely be correct because they'll sign into it. So if you're on one of your applications and you click on a link that takes you to um, the grouper light UI. Uh, this might be how your application is set up, it might not be. You can see there are no members in this group. So first I'm going to search to see if the member that I'm looking for exists and they don't exist. If the external user is registered for another application at your institution then you can use them in all applications that use external users. So now I can click advanced features, invite external people and I'll come to the uh, invite external people um, page and um, just so you know you can get to this from the admin UI as well. If I'm on the admin UI for this group I can click invite external people and I'll arrive at the same page. So now I need to type in the email address of the user that I'm inviting and they're going to get an email with an invitation so I can change the subject if I want. I can change the message to the user and just so you know um, it might be a good idea to add a URL in here of the application that they're going to so they know where to go after they have registered. I might want to put my own email address here so that after they register I know that it'll send me an email that says this user is registered and by the way you could put more um, email addresses here um, to invite multiple people if you mouse over any of these labels you'll get more information about them also, you could um, put multiple groups here so that after they register, 
they'll be assigned to multiple groups. And now I'm going to click Submit. And it says invites have been sent. So now I can close the screen if I don't want to invite other people. And if I go and check my email, I will see that I got an invitation and that it has a link to um, register and then the link that I added in the invite to start the application. So to accept the invitation, external users um, need to click on that link. The invitation might expire after some time, maybe a week. It depends on how the admin at your institution configured external users. And after you click on the link, you need to sign in with an external sign-in provider. So I'll click on this link. And this is the where are you from page. So this is going to be different for different institutions. And basically you need to select <coughs> which institution you're authenticating with. Um, this can be an in common federation. It could be a different federation. Uh, it could be social um, identity providers like Google or Facebook. Um, it's hard to know what, what's available here. But basically I'm going to pick my uh, institution and I'm going to sign in and um, you need to have an account at this institution to sign in on. <clears throat> now even if your institution is in the list to pick you might have a problem and that's because you're, the institution that you pick might not be sending your login ID to the group or invitation system for privacy reasons. They don't want to send it to any system that links to it. So um, if there is not you approve where you can approve what is sent uh, or a similar um, technology, you need to contact the admin of your sign-in system and ask them to send the login ID to the inv invitation system or you can pick a different external sign-in system and potentially create an account there like Google or Protect Network. So I have a Protect Network account. I will select that as my provider and now I can log in with my Protect Network ID. If you're, um, if the institution that runs Grouper has a contract with Protect Network um, you could uh, create accounts here for free just by clicking register and then there's another workflow to do that. If you haven't paid for that um, then I don't think you can use uh, Protect Network either. <coughs> so our system has this so we'll so now um, I come to the registration screen and if this isn't automatically filled in for you you could type it in and this is basically the name uh, and institution that you're going to show up in Grouper about so put something here that um, is descriptive so people can add you to the right groups and this is your uh, email address. The fields here might be different depending on how the uh, Grouper administrator set up external users so I'll click submit and after I click submit it says my invitation has been processed I've been added to uh, the secure space read only users group and now the admin of that group um, is sent an email saying that I have successfully registered now I'm on this registration screen I'm not at the application so I need to um, uh, click the link. Here's the slide about what I just did. So I signed in using the invitation system. I registered my personal information. The fields depend on the configuration. And the reason that you're putting in your name and your institution email address is so that applications can use it and the group admins know who you are when assigning groups or privileges. So now I need to, um, since I now have the group that the admin um, assigned me to, I need to go to the application and if I don't know that URL uh, 
in my case it was in the invite URL I could click on that but if I don't know it then I can ask whoever invited me to this group what it is and then I can proceed there and sign in so in this case um, when I go to the application it's gonna have the same where are you from page as the grouper um, uh, invitation screen so I need to pick the same institution that I picked when I registered which is protect network so now uh, that has single sign on it knows who I am now when I go to the application you can see that I was added to the demo uh, project and um, let me just note that if you click on an invitation twice and you've already processed it you'll get an error that says your invitation cannot be found or is expired maybe uh, contact the person but if you've already registered you don't have to register again so if you if you registered and then you click on it again you'll get this just ignore this because you're already in the system Click the quiz link in the video description to reinforce your knowledge of this topic. Thank you very much. For further information, see the info sheets, mailing list, wikis, downloads, demo server, or online training home.